Hey everyone. Well, I know it's been a while, so uh, I guess I should try to update you guys, but I'm not here to update you about my life. Um, I want to update you about video games. Now, um, one of my friends from Fry's, he was reading through a video game magazine, and he told me about this one game that was coming out. And it took me by surprise because most of the time you hear about them and you think, well, it's just a rumor. It's like Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Not gonna happen, things like that. Well, I look it up on Wikipedia, a couple other places, and it is true. Not Marvel vs. Capcom 3. No, don't get me wrong. This game, Street Fighter 4. Yeah, they yeah, are actually making Street Fighter 4. Uh, for those of you who are keeping up with the series, Street Fighter 3, I think Third Strike, and then it was Double Impact, wasn't it? Or am I going backward? But yeah, this thing is actually coming out. And it comes out for the arcade. So I don't know if we'll be seeing it on the PS3, 360, or Wii anytime soon. But you never know. And uh, if you want, you can Wikipedia this. There is a teaser trailer that shows Ryu and Kim fighting. The graphics look pretty good. If you want, you could probably YouTube it. Uh, I might put a link on here to just show um, so you guys can uh, find it quicker and just check it out. Now, I myself haven't seen the full entire teaser trailer, but I've seen parts of it. And it doesn't look that bad. <clears throat> um, I guess the way to describe it, it looks more like... Um, I guess it looks like a two and a half D game. It's not 3D like Tekken where you can move in a 360 environment, but two and a half. So if you ever played Beautiful Joe, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, so I'm not sure if exactly when it will hit the USA arcades if it hasn't or has already. So um, if any of you guys know, please let me know and I'll go ahead and announce it on YouTube. Also, some of the other video games that are coming out pretty soon is um, Lego Indiana Jones. Uh, I believe I mentioned that one before, but this time it's coming out in the summer of 2008, which isn't that bad. And of course, if you know Lego Star Wars, the first one and the second one, of course the saga that came out for the Wii, you know exactly how the games are. They're a lot of fun, it has interesting humor, but they're really enjoyable. And of course it has a co-op mode where like player two can drop in and out while you play the game. So I'm looking forward to that. And uh, for those of you who have, who have the, uh, the Lego Star Wars Saga, there's a hidden character in there, and it's actually Indiana Jones. Of course I don't have it for the Wii, I have it for the GameCube. So of course he's not unlockable, but for those of you who do, you can go ahead and try to unlock him. I don't know how, but I'm sure if you look it up on GameFAQs.com, F-A-Q-S.com, you can, they'll probably tell you how to do it. And of course the one other one that I'm looking forward to besides Indiana Jones is Lego Batman. That's right, Batman and Robin. And I don't know too much information about that. But just the idea of Batman and Robin being in a Lego video game. Um, I have high hopes for it. Although I'm trying not to push it too high. Um, just like Cloverfield, a lot of people were somewhat disappointed with it. Because they had a lot of high hopes that it would be like a Godzilla movie. Or they focused more on the monster instead of on what was going on with the... Uh, the uh, I guess you can say... The people who are surviving or trying to survive. But we'll get to that later. Anyway, uh, I believe Lego Batman comes out in the fall of 2008. So I'm still hoping that it will be a good game. One that they'll, I don't know, maybe make a sequel of. I'll just let you know, the Indiana Jones, the Lego Indiana Jones, it's going to be all three in one. So they're not going to break it apart, part one, part two, part three. They're not going to do anything like that. Or so I've heard, maybe. They might change it. Who knows? But yeah, it will be something very, very interesting. Okay, moving aside from video games, for those of you who probably don't like it, um, I went and saw Cloverfield about two weeks ago. I think when it first came out. 
and I had no expectations of how it was going to present itself. I saw the trailer just like everyone else when we were watching Transformers, and that was the only time I really saw a trailer for it. But I heard there were other trailers. I didn't really get a chance to catch them. Um, I liked it. Uh, for the most part, is that it made you feel like you were really in the movie. Just the way that this character was holding the camera. Um, the thing that I always use to try to, um, how do you say, I guess, the mood that it puts me in when you see these people running, scared, trying to survive, is it makes you feel like it's 9-11. You see the buildings fall, and then you see everyone trying to run, help each other, and escape. And that's the feeling I got. Um, so it got me quite emotional. And in some ways, I, um, I want to say I liked that part, but it got me more into the story because you, you had more empathy for them. You know what they were going through, or the idea of what they were going through. And I guess just the feeling of wanting to survive. And so, yeah. I mean, some people really wanted to see that monster movie, but... I don't know. I just think of it as uh, a side story to this. And if they make a Cloverfield 2, maybe they'll focus on the monster. Where it came from, maybe what happened afterward. Or maybe they'll find another video and show a different aspect. Maybe it's the military's video. Who knows? Um, and one thing I'm sure everyone's probably wondering, or some people are wondering, is Cloverfield the name where that came from? And I actually looked it up, and um, Cloverfield is actually a street name, a main street, in fact, in, where was it, where was it? Well, the producer, he had, he, um, the studio or his office, is in California, near Los Angeles. And one of the main streets on there is called Cloverfield. And when they were emailing back and forth about this movie, talking about it, or talking about, I guess, what to call it, they got tired of calling it monster movie, monster movie, monster movie, or talking about the monster constantly, so they decided to code name it. And so Cloverfield became the code name, and they just went with it, and that's why it's called that. Nothing to do with the movie, sadly, but I thought it'd be interesting. So, anyway. Um, yeah, that's enough about Cloverfield. I know people are going to get really sick and tired of it. Really quickly. Because, of course, it's been out for about, what, two weeks? Maybe even three? I don't know. But, yeah, and I've seen Blood Day 3000's um, review on it and um, I know they give a better review than I do so if you guys really want to hear what a lot of people have to say about it um, Blunty has this video where it's him and four other guys and they all take the different aspects of Cloverfield they review it, why people didn't like it, why people did like it just certain things about it so I recommend to watch that and oh yeah Today's Sunday for me, and I'm not sure when you guys will be viewing this. Depends when I upload it, if I have time. But, um, the Super Bowl was on today. I was working. Um, for the, those of you guys who know me, I'm not into football. Um, not really. So the idea of everyone taking bets and everyone talking about football and people yelling in the store. Bugs the hell out of me. <laughs> Usually the way I put it is um, football is exciting, or the Super Bowl is as exciting as the Hollywood Bowl for you guys. And most people probably won't even know what that is. Um, for those of you who don't know what that is or never heard of it, the Hollywood Bowl is in Hollywood. It's kind of like a half dome shaped, and that's where they have um, orchestras and I guess you can say bands where they play their music. And I guess most people would find that boring. Um, I don't. But 
that's how I see football. Anyway, um, I don't even know who won. Of course, um, I, I'm sure my dad's watching and everyone else in the whole entire world was watching. But, eh, not me. Anyway, um, that's going to be it for now. Hopefully I'll have an update for you by the end of this week. I'm not making any promises, but I'll have an update for you soon. And for all of you who are new to subscribing, thank you for subscribing. And uh, hmm, feel free to check out my other friends, the people who I subscribe to. Because there are a lot of them and they have great videos. I'm sure you'll love them. So um, that's going to be it for now. Take care. I'll talk to you guys later.